and welcome back to my channel! My name is Ian Tomasian. For those of you that don't know me, welcome. So it has been quite a bit of a time since I've actually sat down and filmed a tutorial for you guys. I've been busy traveling, working, running around, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to go back to my passion as well as my passion being fashion. I do have a huge love for makeup, so I thought I'm going to get right into a great makeup tutorial. And I thought, you know what, let me switch it up. I have been inspired by the lovely Kristen Dominic's verse video, so she would do like French makeup versus American makeup and things like that. And I don't think an American versus an Australian makeup has ever been done before, so I thought, you know what? I got you. So I'm going to do half my face of what I think is more Australian makeup, what other trends kind of going on there, and then half Americanized makeup. Having said this, I am by in no means trying to offend anyone or trying to say this one's better than this version or, you know, whatever. I think they're all really beautiful in their own way, but every culture does have their bits and pieces that are different, and I think that's what makes it beautiful, that's what makes us all unique, and yeah, more exciting, right? So I'm going to go straight jump right into it, and I hope you guys do like this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos I'm in the entire world to me, and also follow me on Instagram, Ali and Tomasian. Let's get into it. First things first, I'm going to do my left side Australian, and then the right side American. Now, with my experience being Australian, being brought up in that country, is that we love our skincare so much, and I love that so much because... That's just been embedded into my soul. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Alpha Liquid Gold. It has glycol... It has glycol... It has glycolic acid in it. I'm going to use a cotton pad and just spray this all over. Not spray. I'm going to do that. I'm going to wipe it all over my face, or the left side. This is a really great Australian brand. If you're looking, to kind of get right into your pores and clear all that dirt. And I thought my face was clean, see? Apparently it wasn't. We do really, really love our skincare and oh my gosh, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with her herb oil, especially Australian her herb oil. It is amazing. I slather this onto my face, my body. You guys, I go through bottles, I don't know, a few times a year. I'm not even lying. They know because they keep sending me bottles. Oh, that feels so good and clean and fresh. I tell you guys a little bit of a story now that I'm doing my makeup. Funny, in Australia, I feel like if you ask any... Australian, they would tell you that to us growing up, we didn't really know like the difference between drugstore makeup and then high-end makeup because what we get advertised on TV is Maybelline, it's L'Oreal, it's what you guys, I mean, not you guys, Americans, I guess, consider drugstore makeup. So when I first came here as an adult, not being, you know, five, when I was 15, I was like, why do they call it drugs? I didn't get it. I didn't understand why it was cheaper. That's what we majorly get advertised on. So to me, it was a bit weird. But so the two foundations that I picked is the L'Oreal True Match and then this beautiful Australian brand called DB Designer Brands. And I discovered this in the Australian Chemist and I started working with them. I've never actually tried this particular foundation, but I want to give it a go on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and open. Oh, okay. Doesn't want to open. Well then. Ow! Oh, a bit on the back of my hand and then grab my Shan Exo flat top brush face brush my beautiful friend Shannon Shan Exo here on YouTube absolutely beautiful Ooh, okay I didn't know this was high coverage look at that okay I'm gonna go directly down my face that's crazy I've never done half my face before to me when I think about Australian makeup I don't ever think of like a caked on look it's very effortless natural just iridescently beautiful um <laughs> i sound very biased but it's just more natural if you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna add a tiny bit of uh, morphe concealer just a tiny bit but i just like to keep it a bit more natural i'm not gonna do anything crazy to mess with maybe that's all you need very very quite dewy to be honest with you all i remember is growing up with my mom going to myers or price line and just being like I can't wait to grow up and wear makeup one day. Now with the shadows I bought two different palettes, mini palettes by Napoleon Pettis. Now I do believe yeah Napoleon was here um, they had a store I believe in America and unfortunately it closed down but they're still I think one of the top brands in Australia if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna go ahead and use the prismatic eyeshadow quad in number five. I'm gonna go ahead and use beautiful cream colour all over the lid just lightly it has a very light shine to it. I feel like you're just paying more for the little glitter particles. Is this? I don't even know what is going on, to be honest. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of falling out here going on. 
And then I'm going to grab a slightly darker uh, brown and just I wasn't going for that look but okay this is quite dark I'm just going to blend that out it's very glittery okay I'm going to be grabbing the same brown colour and just doing a tiny bit on the lower lash line no one else do this I get lazy so I don't want to change my brush I literally just go like this does anyone else do that finish off the look time I'm going to be grabbing the Laura Mercier Opal Fantasy Colour. These are single pan. And I'm just going to slightly apply that to the inner corner. It's this beautiful pink shade. And then bring it to the bottom inner corner as well. The brows. Before I go ahead and do the mascara, I'm just going to quickly go ahead and fill the brows. Now, when I think about Australian makeup, as I mentioned once again, it's more natural. So I'm just going to lightly feather them in. Nothing too insane. So now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. So I'm just going to kind of lightly apply. Ooh, there we go. Now for the contouring, it is quite more of a natural look. So I'm going to be using the Ellis Antioxidant Bronzer. This is one of my favorite Aussie brands. Honestly, it stays on, stays put, does not move. I've been using them since 2012, I want to say. Definitely a favorite of mine. So I'm just going to lightly... Apply. Get that sun kiss glow because you're going to be in the sun in Australia a lot, so it's needed. Once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and use my NARS Wanted One palette. Just add a whole bunch of beautiful pink just to get that. Oh, that's too much pink, buddy. Too much. So to me, I want to get that extreme dewy look. I look so thick on my right hand side right now. I'm going to be using the Ciate Dewy Skin Stick. I'm just going to apply this on my cheekbone and then tap it in just waiting for that to dry i'm going to go ahead and use my ultra 3 prism glow highlighter oh i just got severe heart pains Ooh. and i believe you can buy this at priceline so i'm just gonna oh look at that beautiful mixing the pink with the gold okay get that glow for the lippy i want to go for something really really nice natural beautiful for the summertime since we're going in summer in australia it's going to be the chi chi center fault lip liner and you guys this is amazing like it does not rub off i've been wearing it for the past i don't know two months i want to say absolutely amazing i eat ice cream with it it doesn't come off fyi i'm going to go ahead and use the tartiste glossy lip paint in obvi because obviously for the last finishing touch I'm going to go ahead and use my Ardell Wispies. Now, to be honest, for the life of me, I can't remember if they sell this, but I'm sure they do in Priceline. But that was the look that we were going for. Perfect thing to have in a drawer. Ooh, so this is what it looks like. What do you guys think? This is an Australian side. Now, just to finish off the whole look, I'm going to be applying the Tatcha Dewy Mist Finishing Spray. And there you go. This is my Australian side. Very, very dewy, very natural. Really nice for the daytime, and then if you want to kind of spice it up, you can maybe apply a darker lippy. But I would definitely wear this to like brunch, I would wear it to the beach if I'm not swimming in the ocean. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My beautiful Americans have really, really nice looks as well. Um, they definitely do inspire the world when it comes to their looks. I'm going to jump right into it and use the Pixie Rose flash balm to begin with just to prep my skin oh this is really nice i've never used this one before now for the foundation i'm going to be using my nars natural radiant long wear foundation this is really high coverage i believe a pump and a half here and just kind of dab it in to me american culture makeup fashion has a huge influence on the world obviously so they, they really are trendsetters. So for the shadows for the American side, I decided to go ahead and use my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I've never actually used it before, but it has all the right colors that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and use this beautiful break away just to apply this to my base and then kind of go back and forth. Ooh, okay. Now tell me when I think of American makeup american eyes i think of like a much larger eye i'm going to go ahead and use the still shot this beautiful pink color right here and i'm going to apply that to the crease and then slightly bring it in so i can have a beautiful color to kind of transition with 
I'm going to go ahead and use this beautiful brown color called Good As Gone. I'm going to apply that to the outer corner and then slightly bring it in. Now I'm going for a darker look. So let's keep that in mind. Oh, these blend really, really nice. Look at that. Dark enough to look a tiny bit. I'm going to use Punk, this beautiful brown color. Slightly bring it in. I'm going to use this beautiful color called Reef. It's like this beautiful burnt pumpkin color just to blend everything out. Okay, once that is done, I'm going to set my foundation using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This stuff is thick. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't move. If you're going to a wedding, a run, a jog around the block, definitely recommend this. For us, I'm going to go ahead and use my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I feel like... Americans definitely love their, their thick Instagram brow look where they cut out the eyebrow. That's just not for me personally, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And I'm going to slowly make it a bit more thicker and prominent. For the mascara, I'm going to go ahead and use the Ciate Wonderland Mascara. This stuff is like magic. You don't even need much, but it's really heavy. That's how good it is. It's just like heavy. I forgot to apply my eyeliner. What is wrong with me? Wait. I apply the sex kit and eyeliner even though I did my mascara. Please forgive me. I had to apply eyeliner and I forgot. Back to regular programming. But to me, Americans have always had like a bratz doll makeup eye look. That's the look we are trying to achieve here. I'm going to go ahead and blend all that. In. I'm going to go ahead and apply my Morphe 9BZ palette to contour for shades we are working with. I'm going to go ahead and apply the darker ones, mostly. Okay. I'm going to apply the contour slightly higher above my cheekbone to give that lift effect. Everything pulled back, lifted. For highlight, I'm going to be using my Smashbox palette in gold and I'm going to be applying quite a thick layer. Ooh, my nose and then the bridge. The lip here, I'm using one of my favorite liquid lipsticks by Smashbox. This one is called Out Loud. You guys, I go through these a lot. Um, there we go. Ooh, okay. I feel like a crazy person, but I'm not going to lie. I'm really not, you know, hating it, you know. Final step, I'm going to be applying my Morphe Float Alert Lashes. These are quite thicker, quite... I feel like a good girl, bad girl, shy, confident. Isn't it so crazy how makeup can transform the way that you feel, the way that you look? Ah! Oh, but this is the final makeup. Look, I had so much fun filming this. So I've never done anything like this before. Which one's your favorite? Is it Aussie or is it American? Aussie, American. Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys have been watching me for a while on my new channel, because I did have an old channel, that I nearly had 100,000 subscribers and I unfortunately got blocked. Long story cut short, I had to create this new one. If you guys have been watching me on my new channel recently, you know that I love to do giveaways because I would love to give back in any way, shape or form that I can. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I really wouldn't be doing what I do every single day. And I'm so grateful, so thankful for you all. I love you guys so much. So today's giveaway, are you ready? Drum roll please. This three piece set models own package deal. <laughs> so you're going to get your cheat day, cheek palette and it's a highlighter palette as well so you have three highlighters over here and you have the new models own blaze eyeshadow these are the colors absolutely gorgeous colors especially for fall and winter and you have your cheat day look it looks like donuts how cute is that you have your cheat day eyeshadow palette with 16 shades so one lucky winner is going to win all three palettes and this is like the perfect way to start your makeup collection your makeup set do whatever you want to do with it. All you have to do to win this beautiful bundle is subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification right here. Thumbs up this video, comment below your thoughts which look is your favorite and where you're from. It's as simple as that. And follow me on Instagram, Ali and Tomasia, and you're legit going to the draw to win this. I'm going to be doing so many of these giveaways, so have no fear. More prizes coming. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait until I see you guys in the next video. Keep smiling. Bye. <laughs>